Okay, it's been some time since I made a video. Reason is, we had this ice storm. The ice storm that went through and, and uh, broke the tops of the trees off. And that ain't the worst of it. The worst of it is, I don't know if you could see that, but uh, I climbed up and uh, cut the top of the tree off and, and uh, <laughs> I fell from about maybe three foot high or so backwards and I hit the step on the deck. So it's uh, not a good thing. <laughs> So anyway, uh, what I'm doing here is I'm going to set up on the on the surface plate over here, and I'm going to uh, get the reading if I can find it in here. All right, there it is, and I'm going to get the reading of the. the shaft and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, I got two surface plates set here set up and what I'm going to do is come in here and take a reading off the top of the shaft And what we'll do is we'll take it over to the other surface plate. If I can get in there, well, I'll take that off. We'll take this gear off of there. What we've got here. All right. Now we can get it. All right. Zero. It's right there. Then we'll take it over to the other other um, surface plate where the the stand is. We'll get a reading. Oh, what was up there? I didn't look. <laughs> There's zero. All right, I'm going to get a pencil on the paper. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I'm still stumbling. Uh, I passed out um, twice the other night and I'm thinking it's from this falling. So, four inches, 222 and 4 tenths, 222 and 4 tenths, all right, that's the top of that shaft. Now I can get lazy and measure that shaft, 
but I'm going to take and if I can get the camera wound around around here and take I'm going to take and set the reading off the bottom now. And Zero. Back over to the Cadillac gauge. Swing you around over here. To the Cadillac gauge. And I don't know what this is. I don't know. I don't. I know I didn't stay to a standard. I don't think. Okay. And this is three inches. And four seventy one. Mm. Four seventy one. And four tenths. Well, that works out pretty good. So we got zero, one. We got one and five and seven fifty one in and, and uh, five tenths. We have. So oh, you want to take, put the scribe on there, and I'm going to scribe a line on that block for the, the height. So we want to set it at 471. So I'm going to go over here. Ah. Wrong drawer. Probably getting a big good look at my back of my head. What's left of it? <laughs> uh, now we could uh, bring the height stand or the height gauge down onto this if I set up my other um, height stand. But I'm not going to. All right. All right. We want 751 and um, 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 perfect. So seven. Fifty one. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. That would have been a mistake right there. It's um, 751 added on to that. So it would be 2 and 12 and 
eight, thirteen, four inches, three hundred and twenty two. That would be, take me all the way to the top. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. We want to divide the 751 in half, so which would be 375 and 5 tenths added to the 3, 4, 71 and 4 tenths. 9, 6, 14, 8, 3, 380, 3, 8, 46, 9. And we'll crank it up here. Eight forty six. And nine. All right. Okay. That's the height of the center line. So we'll take this back over here and we'll get, I'll show you me, me getting the height of that. So we'll take this and carefully set it down. And we'll scribe a mark. There's the mark. And we'll put mark on both sides of this too. I'm going over it over and over it to try to get it deep. There we go. Alright. Leave that here. Alright. Now, let me zoom you in here if I can. Where are we at there? Right there. Yep. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to put a gear on there. This gear, which is the same as the gear that's, or the tooth that I'm going to run. So we'll put that on there. I'll turn that screw out. No, I can't turn that screw out. Let me. Yes, I can. I was thinking that I only had that slot that width it. And We'll put the center of the tooth on that, on that gear.
there we are. We are ready to make chips. Okay, just a minute here. Okay, my first tooth is going to cut. So now we're going to go over to the lathe. We're going to go over to the lathe here. And we're going to put the Take this off, put that unit on that we're working on, and right. let's clean that up a little bit. Um, um, um. <laughs> Looking for my brush. Okay, we need the seven sixteenths. Not a seven sixteenths. <laughs> it's a half inch. No, it's not a half inch. It's a metric. It's a metric. I gotta go get a metric wrench. I think this is it right here. Number 14. Yep. One side. Alright, let's see. I want to find a place to put this before I take it off. I'll set it on my serve on my chick um mill. There we go. Alright, brush 
She saw that. There we go. <clears throat> now, we'll set that on there carefully. I need a socket wrench to get at that. All right. There we go. Now, we need to get the handle on here. Um, I'm not sure what I did with the bolts. Hmm. Oh, here they are. Here they are. Doesn't have to be this handle doesn't have to be that long. This is just to test it, and then if this works, I will take and uh, shorten it up. Hmm. 
not going to work. It's um, climbing up on that handle considerably, so I'm going to cut that away. And I'll take and cut that away so it won't climb up on the handle. <laughs> so it's, it's turning it. it, means it's off center. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna just take and grind grind this away and uh, then we should be set. Oh. Waiting for the grinder to warm up. Let's see. See how she looks. There we go. Just like that. Now, <clears throat> I believe I had my other jaws in there. Yep, I know I did. This gear isn't going to work. The diameter of it is about what the diameter of the whole uh, gear will be. So, I, I need to find another hardened gear like that. So I will be back when I find a gear, provided I don't have any more accidents. <laughs> and uh, we'll catch you later.